Good morning from Dollywood. Today I've got the whole family with me. There's Jen and the kids are here. Jareth and Jessa. There they are. <laughs> so the, today is our first day here for the Harvest Festival. It's actually the third day of the Harvest Festival. So we're gonna show you guys around, show you all the different foods. We're gonna do some rides. We're gonna check out some different shows, all kinds of different things. You guys ready? Let's go. We are over at the Valley Forge Blacksmith. Wanted to show you guys this. They're uh, made out of horseshoes, but they're pumpkins. They're yard decorations. They also have some butterflies. But we really wanted to show you the pumpkins. And check this out. It's a couple feet tall. It's really cool. $239. Yeah, it's about half the size of you. They do have some smaller ones that are made out of horseshoes here. Those are $59.99. We are going to go grab us the new Dollywood Tasting Pass for the Fall Festival. And we're going to have the Maple Bacon Walnut Funnel Cake. It's right there in the middle. Uh, this is Splinters up across from the Fire Chaser Express, and they have three select things here. They have the uh, Maple Bacon Walnut Funnel Cake, and they also have a Starbucks Pumpkin Spice Cold Brew, and they also have a Hot Apple Cider here. So we ended up getting the Maple Bacon Walnut Funnel Cake and the Starbucks cold brew. So we're gonna sample both of them and let you know how we think. So first things first, this is the Dollywood Tasting Pass. This is $35 and you get five things with this that is on their uh, Dollywood Harvest Festival menu. Now we bought the funnel cake with this pass. I did not buy this with this pass. And the reason is funnel cake is $9.99 normally. That's a good deal because you get it pretty much for five to six dollars. This was $5.99, so I did not buy this with it because it really wasn't that good of a deal, so I paid for this separately. So that is the way to make the best out of your Dollywood Tasting Pass is buy the more expensive things with this pass. And if you want to try the drinks, then buy those separately. So here is the uh, pumpkin spice cold brew. Starbucks. Do you want to eat that or not? Are you hungry? I got my mustache. It's pretty good. Uh, not, not a Starbucks plug. So, it's not super sweet, which I'm good with. I don't typically like real, real sweet coffees. But the heavy foam gives it a good thickness. It has a little bit of sweetness to it. You can see there that it's um, mixing up well. But yeah, I mean, it's just a standard Starbucks cold brew uh, with a little pumpkin spice flavor to it. It's worth five, six bucks if you're into Starbucks coffee. If you're not, you're probably not going to like it. Not bad. Here is our maple bacon walnut funnel cake. Okay, first of all, it has bacon on it. Anything with bacon, you know it's gonna be terrific. That is a great combination. The sweet and the savory. The walnuts add some crunch to it. 
there's not a ton of bacon on it, which I love bacon, but it's good that it's really not a lot of bacon on it. There's just a little, it's not, it's not really bacon bits either. Like there's, it's actual little pieces of bacon. There's just not a ton of it. There is a lot of walnuts and there is a, uh, a lot of the syrup that's on it. But yeah, that is, that's really, really good. It's absolutely worth the regular $10 or it's worth one of your um, scans on your tasting pass. Very, very good. Mm. Yeah. This is the third seasonal funnel cake that they've had this year. And truthfully, all of them have been really good. I mean, it's a funnel cake. It's hard to mess that up. But this has been very, very well done. All three of them this year for the spring festival, for the summer festival, and now for the fall festival. Hopefully they do one for the Christmas festival as well. But yeah, they've all been very, very good. So I'm gonna give that a, a eight and a half out of 10, the Johnny Amusement scale. That means nothing and goes nowhere. But eight and a half out of 10, here you go. We talk a lot about the Eagle Sanctuary, and honestly, it's, it's kind of hard to film them because of the uh, distance they are away from the netting most of the time. But uh, there you can see a couple of them. And remember, these are non-flighted birds, so um, this sanctuary is for their protection. And you can always donate. Yeah, and you can always donate to them as well. But yeah, there is a couple of the bald eagles. here with my friend Molly met her at Dollywood today she watches the channel her and her family and so I wanted to get her on camera so she can be on YouTube Molly what have you done today um, I rode a lot of coasters. you wrote a lot of coasters yeah. what's your favorite one, one. which one lightning, lightning rod. rod that's my little boy's favorite one too what else do you like here okay my little girl that's my little girl's favorite have you had any good food today we did eat cinnamon bread yesterday. Nothing wrong with cinnamon bread. It's good. It is, it is fantastic. Did you get the icing that goes with it? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Good deal. All right, guys. So there you go. That's my friend Molly. We're hanging out at Dollywood. We are now headed into the Blazing Fury. It's just, uh, it's our ride, I guess. Even though we talked about how it's overrated in one of our videos, we still love it, so we still come ride it. So one of the reasons that we decided to go ahead and ride this ride today, other than the fact that we always ride this ride, is it was a zero minute wait. We've said previously, don't wait more than 15, 25 minutes. It was a zero minute wait today. We walked right on. So if you're here, you see zero, five, 10, 15 minutes, just go ahead, jump in line, get on the ride. It's a good coaster. It's a lot of fun. It's old school, has an old school vibe to it. If you have little kids, they also have pads that you can put over the lap bars to make them a little bit snugger in. We ha I don't think we've ever covered that before. We had never have. But it like makes them a little bit more snug in the seat. Jessa has to use that and she loves it. it yeah, there's a... Uh, more comfortable. Yeah, it is a foam pad that they slide over the handlebar of the that pulls down and locks you in. Uh, and it, it just makes it to where everything's a little more snug around uh, the kids. So, yeah. She's absolutely right. We've never covered that. So, uh, shout out to, to my wife here for taking care of the things that I always forget about, which is pretty much everything. So Jareth and I are gonna go ride the Tennessee Tornado. It is a zero minute wait as well. They do have those ride time uh, TVs kind of all over their monitors, kind of give you a, a good estimate of what the times are gonna be on different rides. You also can check the app on your phone and it will also give you a estimated time triggering it to ride. We are now coming off the Tennessee Tornado and I wanted to show you guys something. So right behind the tornado as you come off or you can walk back behind it, uh, go around and 
There is a uh, food truck area back here. So we're gonna take you over here and show you the menu for the food trucks. So this is the area back behind the Tennessee Tornado. They have two food trucks here. Food truck one is the Mack truck. You can see there what they have. And then the second truck is Bustin' Tacos. And that is their menu. And you see right here, there's the one truck that's Bustin' Tacos, the white truck, and the uh, green truck there is Captain Mac Seafood and Grill. One of the things we always try to do here is tell you guys what we find is a really good deal, especially if it's a food deal. Uh, the other night during the preview, right behind me here at Sweets and Treats, we uh, tried the uh, pumpkin spice churros, and you get five churros and the sauce for five bucks. So it's a dollar per churro, which is an excellent deal here at Dollywood, and it's probably going to be honestly the deal of the festival. So if you're here, you're coming up to Wildwood Grove, right here at Sweets and Treats. Get the churros, it's $4.99, it's five churros and the sauce. It's excellent, it's a great snack for you and your kids, whoever you got in your party. Really good snack, like I said, probably gonna be the deal of the festival. And we just found out that they are out of churros. Today is the third day of the festival and they are out of food. Not good. Not good at all. So maybe uh, maybe they'll get them back in, but as of right now, they are out of churros. I am about to take you guys on an exclusive first ride. What is it? Here we go. Exclusive POV footage right here. We are on Black Bear. Yep, Black Bear Trail. She has me to ride with her, so it's the first time I've ever rode this. So here we are, riding the old black bears. This is in Wildwood Grove, by the way. A little weather passing through at the moment here at Dollywood, so I thought we would stop into Mountain Grove Merchants. We don't come in here very often, we thought we'd show you around. Uh, first of all, I do not see any of the uh, Fall Festival or Illuminates merchandise here, so this is going to be pretty much just their standard uh, everyday merchandise. But they do have some nice stuff, I like this stuff here, kind of a retro look. They've got hats and mugs. Oh, I really like this coffee mug. I've never seen this one before. It's got Dollywood on the handle. It's a good looking coffee mug. $14.99. They also carry some Kavu bags back there. And they've got uh, different t-shirts, some postcards, different mugs. They do sell soft drinks here. Pick that up. Keep in mind that this uh, is up in a kid's area, so most of the things here are going to be geared towards children. They have these uh, Squishmallows that it seems like every kid in America loves, probably all over the country to be honest. But they have some of those here. They've got some candy and some chips, different things. So there you go, there's a little walk through the uh, merchant shop up here at Wildwood Grove. Another thing that we wanted to show you guys is a lot of people ask, uh, you know, gluten-free or dairy-free, anything like that. They do have these bananas, and it looks like they are uh, dairy-free, gluten-free, no trans fat, and natural antioxidants, and totally delicious, it says. But they have them uh, plain coconut, rainbow sprinkles, and peanut. So obviously, if a peanut allergy, probably not want to try that, but uh, yeah, there you go. Frozen bananas.
We are now gonna head over to Iron Horse Pizza. They have two things on the menu that we would like to try for the tasting pass. Uh, one is the pumpkin sausage pizza, and they also have a butternut squash mac and cheese that we want to try. So we're going to bring you both of those things here in just a second. This is the pumpkin sausage pizza. This is the flatbread pumpkin sausage pizza at Iron Horse Pizza. This is the butternut squash mac and cheese. Okay, so here we are with the pumpkin sausage pizza. I really don't know what to expect. Um, it has an odd look to it, I gotta be honest. It, it, it looks a little weird, so, but uh, we're gonna try it and see how it is. Honestly, it tastes like sausage pizza with pumpkin seeds on it. Like it has no real, like the sausage is not pumpkin flavored. It doesn't have like, the sausage doesn't have a pumpkin flavor to it. The yellowy sauce that you see, it doesn't have the normal red sauce that pizza has. Uh, I don't know exactly sure what the yellow sauce is. It's probably it a pumpkin sauce, but it's so thin. That yeah, it may be a pumpkin sauce, but yeah, it's real thin, so it's, it like, it really doesn't have any it doesn't have any flavor to it. Take a beer. Yeah, take a bigger bite. Yeah, don't waste your taste pass on it. Yeah, it's That's not her. bad. And it's eleven ninety nine for it, so your tasting pass really is a good deal for it. But unless you're just looking for really just a plain pizza, it's not much more than just a plain pizza. Yeah. Honestly, it's kind of bland. Just to be real honest, it's kind of bland. The cheese is okay, the sausage is okay. Um, you guys know Iron Horse Pizza is one of my favorite places here to eat. I always tell people this is one of the best places to get a good deal. But again, it's not bad. It's just not great. So I'm giving it a, a five. I was gonna say a five and a half. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna go five, five and a half, something like that. Jen five and not, a half. Jen it could have been a seven, but. Jen is not trying it because Jen does not eat sausage. Yeah. The wife doesn't eat sausage, so. So I'm not trying that. She's not trying this one. She's going to try the mac and cheese, though. That's coming up next. So, the squash that's on this, some pieces are pretty tough and some are not. Some are pretty soft. If you get the soft pieces, it's much better. But it is still a sweet mac and cheese. So if you're wanting a savory, salty mac and cheese, don't get this. If you are wanting to just try something different, then get it and try it. I think it's like a five out of 10. It's edible, it's not bad. Your kids can eat the mac and cheese without the squash as well, but it's just a different, it's a different mix of stuff together. Now we are over to the butternut squash mac and cheese. Sit here. So it's literally just butternut squash diced up on top of what looks like probably white cheddar mac and cheese. We'll give it a whirl, see how it is. It's hard. It's like almost a candied squash. Yeah. So it's sweet. It's almost like having a sweet potato on your mac and cheese. Okay, so she's right. It is like having a sweet potato on your mac and cheese. I don't think I like it. The mac and cheese is good. Yeah, the mac and cheese is not bad, but the whole, it's a weird texture. The squash is real hard, to, it's really crunchy. Yeah. 
At least on one. Yeah. We no, I'm not, I'm not a fan. It's two flavors that don't really mix very well. So as bland as the pizza was, the pizza was better than that. So I'm gonna give the squash mac and cheese probably like a four. I'd give it a five. I'm just not a big fan of that. Maybe even less than four. I Maybe like a three. three. Wrong. It's not. It's not as bad as the uh, meatballs that we had back back in the spring or the summer. But it's it's not much better. So there you go. A couple strikeouts on these two. Uh, we still got a couple more to go. But you never know. You, you guys may come and try it, and it was good on the day you yeah, did it. Like, yeah, or it absolutely. It may be good on your taste buds. Yep. Yeah, like she said, it, it, you know, you may you may like it, just not for us. So there you go. So I'm gonna call that one a strike out here at Iron Horse Pizza. Both were edible, just not exactly what we were looking for. Uh, not as good as I thought they should be or could be. So you know, it is what it is. Sometimes they hit it out of the park. Sometimes they strike out, and uh, unfortunately, it was just a couple strikeouts. On to the next one. We're gonna do something we never do. We're gonna do a balloon pop game. Let's we'll see how this goes. Okay, so you can't get right. really hard. Oh, oh close. Do it again. Go ahead, Dan. Still over here playing carnival games. My wife would love to have one of those. I know those are so cute. Yeah, I think it is too. All right, buddy, Jareth decided to come do? back and try to bust another balloon. Oh. Shake it off. Oh, it's too bad. Shake it off. Oh, you think? Yeah. 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 It was a little impromptu show that we did not expect. That was Applejack, and un unfortunately, I do not know the uh, young man's name. If you know his name, drop it in the comments. He was actually performing outside this morning when we came in, uh, and then he was in here with Applejack just now performing. So, like I said, if you know him, drop his co drop his name in the comments. Love to give him a shout out. I just don't know who he is. Alright guys, that is going to do it from Dollywood today. I hope you enjoyed our little tour of the Harvest Festival. We have to try some foods on our Harvest Pass. We'll be back to try more of those. We got to see all kinds of stuff. We got to do some rides. Appreciate you guys coming along. And remember, life's hard enough. Keep it amusing. We'll see you guys next time.